In radar display, true motion and relative motion represent how objects move on the screen in relation to the ship and other targets. Let's consider this scenario. Our ship is navigating a two-way traffic lane on a course of 045 degrees true, traveling at a speed of 10 knots. The vessel ahead of us is on the same course and speed. Another ship is moving on a reciprocal course of 225 degrees true at 11 knots. This boat is proceeding on a course of 263 degrees true at 5 knots, and a fourth vessel is anchored. Additionally, buoys are positioned on both sides of the two-way traffic lane. This is a bird's eye view of the own ship and other moving targets, showing them proceeding on their respective courses and speeds. What you're seeing is true motion, which displays the actual movement of both the own ship and all moving targets relative to the ground or a fixed reference, while all stationary objects remain in fixed positions. Let's examine this scenario on the radar display. The radar is set to true motion with a north-up orientation, and is in C-stabilized mode, displaying true vectors. If you are not familiar with stabilization modes, or the difference between true and relative vectors, please check the link in the description for more details. On our radar screen, this is our ship, shown offset from the center. The small radar echo visible on her starboard beam is a buoy, along with three other small echoes that can be seen on both sides of head flash. This is a head flash, a line that represents the direction of the ship's heading. This vessel is on the same course and speed. This one is a boat on a crossing situation. This vessel is on a reciprocal course. And this is an anchored vessel. In true motion, own ship moves across the radar screen in its true direction of movement, and targets move according to their actual paths. It displays the actual movement of both own ship and all targets relative to a fixed reference, usually the ground. All stationary targets, such as land masses, buoys, or anchored vessels, remain fixed on the radar screen. In this radar display, the trail function is switched on and set to a 6-minute time frame. A trail provides a visual representation of the past positions or movement history of a target over time. In true motion mode, with the trail set to true, all moving objects will leave a trail behind, appearing as faint lines or tails that show where the target has been. This includes the trail of the own ship, as well as other moving objects. Stationary objects, including anchored vessels, will not have a trail in true motion mode because they are not moving relative to the ground. Now, compare the movement of objects on the left and right sides of your screen. All moving objects on the left mirror those on the radar display to the right. They move in the same direction, including the own ship, while all stationary objects remain fixed in position. But how does the display change when the radar is set to relative motion? Let's explore that next. We'll use the same scenario for comparison, keeping the positions, courses, and speeds of all objects on the radar screen unchanged, including own ship. The only difference this time is that, we've switched the radar to a relative motion display. The radar orientation remains north up, in C-stabilized mode. We're still using a true vector, with a 12-minute time frame, and the trail remains set to true, at a 6-minute duration. In relative motion mode, the radar display keeps our ship stationary at the center, or offset on the screen. As a result, own ship will not display a trail, even if the trail is activated because own ship is treated as a fixed object. However, the true vector will still appear, as it represents own ship's actual movement relative to the ground. If the vector is switched to relative, no vector will be shown for own ship since she is assumed stationary. Meanwhile, in relative motion display, all other targets appear to move relative to our ship. Even stationary targets, such as buoys, 
land masses, or anchored vessels, appear to move relative to own ship's position. When the trail is set to true, no trails will appear for stationary objects. However, if the trail is set to relative, all stationary targets will display trails that give the illusion of moving in the opposite direction of the own ship's motion. This occurs because, in relative motion, the radar treats the own ship as stationary, while everything else appears to move around it. As a result, the trails of stationary objects will be shown pointing in the direction opposite to own ship's heading. For the vessel ahead, which has the same course and speed as our ship, setting the radar to relative motion, with the trail set to relative, will cause that ship to appear stationary on the radar display. As a result, it won't show any trail because there's no relative movement between the two ships. Since both vessels are moving at the same speed and direction, they maintain a constant position relative to each other. This is why, the trail doesn't extend as it does for other moving targets with different courses or speeds. This concept can be a bit confusing for beginners, but with practice, it will become more familiar. Now, let's switch back to our original setting, with the trail set to true. In this mode, the trails of stationary objects disappear, while the vessel ahead will now display its trail, reflecting its true movement over time. Let's observe how objects move on the radar screen in relative motion display. You'll notice that own ship remains stationary, while other vessels and stationary objects appear to move around her, reflecting their speed and direction relative to own ship's position. However, the vessel ahead appears fixed on the screen because she has the same course and speed as own ship. Let's compare the movement of the displayed objects in true motion and relative motion displays. On the left screen, the radar is set to true motion, while on the right, it is set to relative motion. The most commonly used setting onboard is relative motion, where own ship appears stationary. However, the display setting depends on the user's preference for a specific situation. It's important to note that, according to certification standards, the primary function of radar is for collision avoidance, detecting vessels, assessing collision risks, and assisting in safe maneuvering as required by call regs. I won't go into detail about true and relative vectors here, as I've already made a separate video covering that topic. Feel free to check the link in the description for more information. That's all for now, I hope you find this video helpful, thank you for watching, and see you in my next video, bye.